everyone, it's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be talking about my July favorites. So my last favorites video was in May and this month and last month, I tried a lot of different new and old products and I discovered a lot of products that I actually like and are about to be my holy grail but not yet so they're in my favorites video. So if you want to see what I'm loving this month, just keep on watching. So first off, let's start with my face products. I have two foundations in this video and I'm sure you all know what they are. So the first one is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I said this in my video, I've tried this a couple of times before but never did I get to see myself like actually buying it because I still have a lot of foundations but I am a foundation kind of girl and this foundation is like a step up from the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It's a good everyday foundation because it has coverage but it looks so natural that you literally look like you just woke up with a seamless looking face. So if you have a little bit of discoloration or either veins popping out, this foundation is perfect for you. I do tend to use this for every day as a natural medium coverage foundation. I really love it and it wore beautifully throughout the whole day. I do have a wear test of this foundation and it's linked up here. I really love it. I still use it and I do see myself repurchasing this if and when I finish the entire bottle. The next foundation is a drugstore foundation. Not really drugstore. It has an affordable price. This is the Makeup Revolution fast base stick foundation. Before I forget, I use the shade sand for Too Faced Born This Way. I am in the shade number F11 for fast based foundation stick and as you can see, it's really thick and it gives me full coverage surprisingly. And the reason why I like it because it's so easy to apply. I just draw it on my face, use my beauty blender to blend it out and I am done. It's super full coverage and it's again not the lightest weight foundation but it doesn't like bring my face down. It doesn't cake up as well and that's why I like it. The end of my makeup application procedure, procedure process, it has a kind of a dewy finish and then I just set it with powder and then it's a right coverage for, you know, every day because I did want to try the Hourglass Stick Foundation. It does come with a high price tag so I opted for this one just to try it out and see if I like stick foundations and surprisingly I did like it. I liked how easy it was to apply and how it was easily blended on my face. Face. Next up is concealer. Oh my gosh, I cannot stop saying this. It has super full coverage, but it is super hydrating for my dry skin and especially for my under eyes. The way that it looks, it's not like... Because today I'm using Tarte Shape Tape and as you can see, it's really full coverage. You don't see my under eyes, like my dark circles or my puffs, but it doesn't come with any luminosity or radiance that the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, uh, the, the concealer has. So again, hydrating hydrating, radiant, and coverage. Those are the things that I look for when it comes to my face makeup wants and it's all in here. Love this. Wears beautifully throughout the day and it doesn't come with a high, high price tag because it, it is $29 and it is high end but do you see how big and chunky this packaging is? It comes with 0.5 fluid ounces of product and that's a lot for a concealer. Next item is a blush. So this one is the L'Oreal Lash Part. L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Halatang yun talaga yung favorite ko. Okay, so this is the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Blush in the shade Bashful. To be honest, Kathleen Lights influenced me to get this because ano bang makeup product ko yung hindi influenced by her. But yeah, anyway, at first I was hesitant about it kasi nga magkaiba kami ng skin tone. Sobrang puti niya, sobrang tan ko. And then when I swatched this, once I got it, I was like, nasaan yung kulay? And then I realized that it has like a sheen lang. Not sure if you can see that on camera but it has like a peachy sheen that's perfect. Okay, it has a peachy sheen that's perfect for makeup looks like this one. We're in sobrang daming color on my eyes and I just ha want a subtle glow on my cheeks. So, dun ko siya ginagamit and I also used this on top of my NARS liquid blush which is in the shade Orgasm and it's so perfect. As in, para lang akong kinilig ganon. But yeah, anyway, love this. Um, It was only, I think, it was below 10 bucks, I believe, and it has a scent. It smells like when I was applying this, I was like, ah, oh, pango. Just a subtle sheen talaga para sa mga makeup looks na super colorful. I mean, for the eye makeup looks na super colorful. And it comes with a mirror on the other side. So, perfect! 
Okay, next up, I've had this for a while. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. Yon. So I've had this again. As I said, I have had this for a while and I don't think I talk about it too much because this is the highlighting powder that I use almost every day. Because it's super cheap, only $5. And then look at the shade super pigmented as you can see and it's the perfect shade for that natural glow as in it's there it's a little bit pinkish and it's not gold it's not glittery it's not white that's what i think of natural and then it's nice because it's beaming enough for people to see oh she looks so dewy but not beaming enough na parang oh grabe naman yung highlighter may paus na kami highlighter pa that kind of thing so it's the perfect mix of those um natural and beaming properties together in a highlighter and it so comes with a super low price tag super affordable five dollars so i really love it and i've been gravitating toward this the whole month as you can see it start like the shape right here it's starting to wear off because i use it a lot nga. and like i said um i just got a different shade of this um highlighter and i can't wait to use that one as well and again the be the best part about this is even if it's like only five dollars it's super long lasting at the end of the day i can definitely still see a sheen on my face so that is amazing and the next product is a brush so this one is the sigma pencil brush e30 for the longest the longest time i was only using my lip brush to go in with my inner corner shade which is yung white na yan to brighten up my eyes i didn't know this one existed until i bought a sigma brush set it's super soft for this area and it's perfect kasi ayan oh captured niya na agad tapos hindi siya lumalagpas sobrang precise niya whenever i use it in my inner corners and since the brush is really soft it's really not prickly when it comes to like the inner corner of my eye which is a little bit sensitive as opposed to you know your face because it's soft lang ng skin mo dyan eh. so yeah this one and last but not the least para na naman akong hinihingal is an eyeshadow palette oh my god i want to get this makes me want to get the other shade but this is the dominique cosmetics latte palette and i've waited so long for this one ever since she came up with this product i really wanted to buy it because I was a fan of Dominique. Kristen Dominique here on YouTube. Which I love her makeup looks. Super nice. Lahat ng makeup looks niya. And her videos are super easy and super walang mga pizzazz, pizzazz, whatever. Walang fluff yung videos niya. That's what I'm saying. Talagang nagme-makeup lang siya and then I like the way that she describes things. So when she came up with an eyeshadow palette, I was like, oh my gosh, feeling ko sobrang ganda niyan kasi ang galing niya mag-eye makeup talaga. But then it was only available online and I was kind of hesitant kasi medyo mahal din siya. 42 dollars for an eyeshadow palette na, I don't know, siguro high end. Usually naman pag mga YouTubers lumalabas with uh, with their own makeup line, medyo mahal din. Medyo a high end pricing sila. So I was like, I don't know kasi I haven't swatched it. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. I don't know if it's buttery, if it's pigmented, or if it's powdery and it's gonna fall out of my skin. So I was like, oh, maybe not. And then it was available on Ulta. Thank you Ulta for expanding your brand. But anyway, I mean for expanding the brands at your store holds whatever but yeah thank you ulta because i got to like watch it in store and at first watch it was love at first watch can i say yeah i can say that um it was love at first watch as in pag ko pala, wow buttery no powders no fallout i bought it i was like at the counter that's where it was because it comes with really neutral shades but you do have this no, it's on the other side. But this, you, you have these two pops of colors, which is perfect. Kasi, again, pwede siyang travel palette. Everything is matte except for these three shades. And look at these three shades. These are the shimmer shades. Sobrang buttery, di ba? One swipe. This is the palette that I actually use for bulk of my eye makeup today. And I just love it. Again, no fallout, not powdery, super pigmented, and super easy and blendable. And again, with the whole palette, you can definitely create a bunch of different looks. And it comes with a huge mirror. Yes, to makeup palettes that has mirrors. But yeah, um, I guess that's everything that I love for this month. Oh, and a random favorite is this shirt. Not really this shirt in particular, but 
but these shirts, which is the everywhere shirts. Yeah, everywhere shirts for um Old Navy. They're super comfy and super affordable. And I bought a lot of them this month because I was like, I need more t-shirts for when I'm filming videos and for um, when I'm babysitting. But yeah, um, they're really comfy and super affordable. I could definitely sleep in them. And the length niya is perfect for tying a knot at the end of my shirt. And that's my random favorite for this month. I'm actually loving two shows. The first one is Life Unexpected. No, not Life Unexpected. Life Sentence, which stars Lucy Hale. So the story is she had cancer, she got cured, and then she's starting to discover a lot of secrets that her family kept from her to keep her happy. So yeah, um, I really love it. I just finished the first season. I don't know if another season is coming out. I don't know. The CW, can you answer my questions? But yeah, anyway, I just finished the first season and I really love it because as opposed to other series, we're in Sobrang Rainbows and Butterflies. Yeah, now they make you think that you're gonna get those kind of, you know, love, romance, whatever. This one talks a lot of like real world issues. So the other one is a K-drama. I know, I don't really watch K-dramas, but my friend got me me hooked into this one. It's Strong Girl Bong Soon. So it's a K-drama on Netflix. I mean, it's available on Netflix and the only thing I don't like about it, it's not dubbed. I mean, I know sometimes I'm funny then pag naka-dub siya, but nakakapagod magbasa ng subtitles and sometimes nagbabasa ka na lang, you don't really watch the show anymore. But yeah, I really love it because it's really cute, really light and it's funny because it's a new concept. Strong yung girl, not superhero, pero wala lang. May innate power lang siya to be strong. Tapos sobrang cute pa nung guy. It's a really fun and really light series to watch whenever I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. Let me tune into this. But yeah. And last but not the least for my random favorites is a favorite book. So I'm currently reading Grace Not Perfection by Emily Lay. She's the creator of the Simplified Planners. Oh, so in this book, she talks about how it we always tend to want more from us than we can ever like give talaga. And it talks about how to love yourself first before you start loving others. Basically, it talks about how to live your life simple enough for you to actually enjoy it. Not really simple because that's another book, but to accept your fault and not expect too much from yourself and that it's okay to not, to actually not want more. I know we live in the society we're in, we're actually taught to be, that it's good to want more, to want what more than what you have and to always strive for what's best. But in the book, she talks about how it actually wears us down and makes us think that we're not enough. So yeah, that book basically helps help me think that what I have is enough and what I'm doing is actually enough and not to wear myself down and not to worry about I'm not, what I'm not doing and to actually worry about what I'm actually doing and, and what I'm actually capable of. So yeah, that's everything that I love this month and if you want to see more makeup videos, beauty related stuff and vlogs, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and of course, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! And again, all product links will be down in the description bar. Bye!